Hello and welcome to the 340 Club. In this video, we're we'll solving this question. Which is larger, 33 to the power 44 or 44 to the power 33? So let's begin. So we have 33 to the power 44 on the left side and 44 to the power 33 on the left side. The first thing I'll do is find the 11th root of both sides. I'll find 11th root of 30 to the power 44 and 11th root of 44 to the power 33. So we know the square root, if you find the nth root of a number, is a to the power 1 over m. So nth root of a number is cos that number to the power 1 over m. So it means I can rewrite the 11th root as 1 over 11, right? So 33 to the power 44 times 1 over 11, and then 44 to the power 33 times 1 over 11. By doing that, we can now simplify the exponents, right? 44 divided by 11 is 4, so I have 33 to the power 4, and 33 divided by 11 is 3, so I have 44 to the power 3. Now let's determine which is larger, 33 to the power 4 or 44 to the power 3. So what we'll do is 3 times 11 to the power 4, that's 33 becomes 3 times 11 to the power 4, and 44 becomes 4 times 11 to the power 3, right? So with that, we can now distribute the powers over the product, right? If I have a, b to the power x, I can write it as a times x, a to the power x times b to the power x, right? So we can do that, and then we'll have 3 to the power 4 times 11 to the power 4 on one side, and 4 to the power 3 times 11 to the power 3 on the other side. At this point, I can divide through by 11 to the power 3, and both have 11 to the power 3, and I have 4 to the power 3 on the right side, and 3 to the power 4 times 11 on the left side. Now we have to compare and determine which is larger. 3 to the power 4 is 81, so 81 times 11. And 4 to the power 3 is 64. 81 alone is already bigger than 64. So definitely 81 times 11 will be bigger than 64. So 30 to the power 44 is larger. Now let's look at an alternate, an alternative solution. So 30 to the power 44 and 44 to the power 33. So this time I'll write 44 as 4 times 11. So I have 33 to the power 4 times 11. And I have 44 as 3 times 11. So I have 44 to the power 3 times 11. And then at this point we can use this rule. a to the power x times y is equal to a to the power x all to the power y. So applying that rule, I can write 33 to the power 4 times 11 as 33 to the power 4 all to the power 11 and 44 to the power 3 times 11 as 44 to the power 3 all times 11. I can 33 to the power 4 and 44 to the power 3 on the other side. I got that by ignoring the 11th power. If I have two numbers all to the same power, right, I have two integers all to the same power, and I'm comparing them, I can ignore those powers and compare the integers alone, right? So in this case, you're just comparing 33 to the power 4 and 44 to the power 3. At this point, it follows the same as the other solution. So 3 times 11 to the power 4, 4 times 11 to the power 3. And then we distribute a b to the power x cos a to the power x times b to the power x. So I have 3 to the power 4 times 11 to the power 4 on the left side and 4 to the power 3 times 11 to the power 3 on the right side. Dividing through by 11 cubed, I have 4 to the power 3 here, and 3 to the power 4 times 11 here. Now, you can compare them. 3 to the power 4 is 81, so I have 81 times 11, and 4 to the power 3 is 64, and clearly, 81 times 11 is bigger than 64. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe. Bye.